Lux City. Shit, how Tigers loud is this thing even? Can't beat me. Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Soft bomb ash from the Lux City. Baggers, watch out. Can't beat me. Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Of all the Soft times to- ash Ashton Frey! Ah! Hello to you too, scaredy cats. I could stand to be greeted like a normal person, you know. What? And miss that look on your face? <laughs> no way! Oh man, I should have taken a picture. I am so honored you find this funny. Is that how you treat your guests? I think I need to talk to your supervisor. Talk to yourself. You aren't even a guest here. What are you doing here in the first place? I could be looking to buy a house. A mansion? Yeah, why not? Did you see the view outside? It doesn't look haunted to me at all. Ashton, I am not in the mood. What are you doing here? I just finished working on something, so I dropped by. And I, uh... I said I'll see if I can pick you up. Turns out I can. Uh, free time and all. So here, here I am. Uh, figured you'd still be busy, and so I roamed around for a while. Oh, you should have mentioned that sooner. I was about to throw you out. Throw me? Hey, I was given a pamphlet. I think that makes me a legitimate client. We have mandatory sign-in sheets for clients, Ash. I didn't see your name on it. And you can't just roam around because it says open house. Normal people actually follow an etiquette here. Right, okay. I think I'll just go ahead and... No, wait. I wasn't really going to throw you out. Rose said... Never mind. I was just about to leave anyway. Wait, what? Now? What's wrong? Nothing. Well, let's just go. Doesn't look like a nothing to me. We still have Zack's movie tonight, remember? It's still early. And didn't you say your shift will end around 5 or 6? What about- Hey, Isabella, wait up! here. <laughs> Sorry. I won't say no to free food, but why are you giving away cereal bars? I always have one on my person, and you look like you're about to pass out back there. Have you eaten lunch yet?
how'd the open house go? The usual. We got a bigger crowd than normal because of the property's fame, but really, no different from the typical open house. On second thought, it actually looks like a fancy party more than an open house. I've never felt so underdressed in my life. Weren't you there? I wasn't really listening. I should have asked someone to kick you out. No, you won't. And what makes you so sure? One, ever since you got assigned to this property, you've been freaking out about it. Rebecca's words, not mine. She's been complaining to me about how you talked your ears off, by the way. Two, despite your initial qualms about the place, you still took the job, which brings us to three. It's been months since you last settled a deal, and you're short on money right now since you're back to your instant noodle diet. How do you even know about the last one? Rebecca, anyhow, you're hell-bent on selling the mansion. Even if someone you know personally is in the tour group, you aren't going to just kick them out. Every single person who went on your open house is still a prospective client to you. Even me. I hate you. I really hate you right now. <laughs> I'll have you know that there's already someone who's extremely interested in this property. So even if you expressed any sort of interest in it, I don't think they'd be willing to let you have it. Too bad. You don't seem too happy about it. I am happy. Doesn't this look like a happy face to you? Really? And here I was thinking you found another one stuffed in the sofa. Or is it the wardrobe this time? Yeah, well, things happened. Stuff the right couple might not be pleased about. No need to make a fuss about it. It's normal in the business. You made them angry? Not angry. Just... stuff happened. Like? Things. Did they do anything? Your clients. The rights, was it? You keep asking me about my work, yet you haven't said a single word about yours. That's not fair. Both you and Zack have literally disappeared off the face of the earth. Didn't we just talk a week ago over chat? That's different. Linking your awful memes in the group chat box every morning isn't exactly a conversation. Excuse me, I don't hear you calling them awful while you're laughing at all of them. Shut up! And you aren't answering my question. All right, all right. Lay off on the abuse. Remember that case I mentioned before? We've been trying to pin the bastard down, but it required more work than we anticipated. The guy's slippery like that. We got some good lead months ago. Hey, you guys! Long time no see! Sup, Z-Man! My main man! What's crack a lackin', my homie? <laughs> Yo, stop trying to act black, Ashton. And you're the only one who calls me Z-Man. <laughs> it's been a while, Zack. I hope you didn't get into trouble again. Not much to get into trouble lately without you, I'm afraid. I'll let you know if something comes up, though. Nah, I ended up with chicken down stuck on me last time I agreed. I'd really love at least this year to pass without some sort of accident happening again. Hey, I take offense to that. It wasn't that bad. You really have no idea. Hey, I'm kidding. You know you can always count on me.
Hella! Huh? Rebecca's now with you. Is she still sick? A bit. But she's up and went to work this morning. You know she doesn't listen to anyone that's not Ash. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. You're literally the only person she'll listen to when she's feeling stubborn. But don't worry, Zach. She's probably on her way here now. She promised she wouldn't miss your movie. Isabella! Oh, thank goodness! Becca, you're just in time! Becca, you're squishing my face! How are you? Are you alright? Why wouldn't I be? Rose called me earlier. Good. Rose covered for me at work today. That's not what I'm talking about. How's your head? <coughs> oh, it's nothing. I just slipped off a few steps on my way down. I blacked out for a few seconds and had a minor bump, but it's just that. You blacked out? Uh, it's not something to brush off. Come on, at least let me check it. It's extremely minor. You wouldn't even know it's there. Isabella, this isn't a laughing matter. She did look pale when I saw her. Wow, thanks a lot, Ashton, you traitor. I'll get you back for this. Just you wait. What? I'm just saying it as it is. If you mentioned this earlier, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. I'm sorry, saw her? Yeah, they arrived together. Bella looked fine to me then. I don't know. Oh, that's... That's good. At least she didn't have to travel alone, right? At least. Good. See? I'm okay. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. And... and I don't want to miss Zach's film. We can always watch it some other time. <sighs> Sorry, Zachary. No, it's good. But you guys should really keep it down. We're starting to attract some attention. It's the premiere! The premiere's different! Right, Zach? Not really. But Rebecca has a point. In the end, I think it's your call. Oh, for heaven's sake! Please, Becca, I really don't want to miss it. You're not missing it. We're just moving it on a different day so we can have a... Look, you guys. If she says she's okay, then there's nothing we can do about it. It's not like we can stop her either. Besides, she's still acting like the same old Isabella to me. If she can still run around like that. Why are you taking her side? I'm not. But if she wants to watch Zack's movie with us, I'm not going to stop her. She's probably the one looking forward to it the most. Ash, that's... <sighs> you, of all people, should know... Tell you what, if I notice something amiss with her, I'll take her to the nearest hospital myself. Is that good enough for you? <sighs> Thanks, Becca. It's always been you with him, isn't it? Did you say something? Me? Uh, nothing. Don't mind me. If you say so. Okay, guys, showtime's close, so I think I'm gonna get us some snacks. My treat. And then let's head inside. Uh, anyone here has a smaller bill? I think I do. Hold on. What's this? No! Give it back! It's just a paper. I don't care! Give it! Looks ancient, too. Why do you keep this around? What's the big deal? It's not like it's a love letter. I don't see any reason to- Hold on a second. This is, isn't it? Even if it is, it's not for you. Okay, now I'm curious. I'm telling you it's nothing like that. It's- Send this to five people, or else. Well, that's... interesting. Um, guys, I think we should listen to Bella first. Aren't you a few days early for Halloween? It's not a prank. What did you say? This isn't a prank! I saw something! Hold on. Are we still talking about this paper? 
Or is it about the urban legend again? Both. I know it sounds ridiculous. You're saying this is a primitive version of a chain letter. And now that we've seen it, we're now cursed. You've got to be kidding me. See? This is why I didn't want to tell you guys. Isabella, aren't you taking this a bit too far? It's not a joke. Will you guys listen to me first? I saw something in the house earlier. It stood right in front of me. If I hadn't gotten away, that thing might have... Right. And in broad daylight, Isabella. Even someone gullible would find the logic in that screwed up. There's also no way in hell that this supernatural shit is true. But it's real! What do you think I saw? A hallucination? A delusion? Didn't you say you fell down some stairs? So maybe Rebecca's right. It happened after, when I was trying to get away. I almost got stuck in the same room with that thing. We're all in danger. I thought you were my friends. Why don't you believe me? We are, and you know that. But this thing and that thing has got nothing to do with the other. When Rose called earlier, I thought she's just exaggerating. But based on what I'm seeing right now, maybe it's better if we really postpone this for now. Don't bother. Guys! Why don't we all calm down first? I'm sure Isabella has her reasons too. No need to be hard on her. And hey, ain't this supposed to be a happy get together? We haven't seen each other for months. I'd really love to know what y'all have been up to. I only ever get to talk to Bella over chat, please. If we keep arguing here, we're going to miss the first few minutes. All right, that's the Isabella I know. Oh, good. I thought for sure you were going to cry. <clears throat> what was that for? Stop calling me a crybaby. I'm not one. Oh, don't cry. Stop it. Okay, scaredy cat th That too. If you repeat that, I swear I'll- <sighs> Let's just go. So, uh, you guys go catch up with her. I'll go get us the food, I promise. But you'll miss it. Didn't you say watching a movie without food ain't fun? And <laughs> it ain't like I haven't seen it. I made it, remember? I'll be in there soon. And then? Are you sure it wasn't one of the cleaning crews? Absolutely sure. And then I ran. You heard what happened after. I still think it's something else. It was standing right in front of me, Ash. I heard what you said, but it's a small room. There are a lot of things someone else could have done there without your knowledge. If I could see it up close, maybe I can... I am not going back there. Ain't that a problem if you're hosting an open house? Rose does the first floor tour. I ain't sure ghosts can be restricted to one room, Bella. There are no ghosts, Zack. Stop putting useless ideas in her head. Yeah, but I was thinking. Maybe all the house needs is a blessing. Wasn't it left uninhabited for years? I didn't peg you as the religious type, Zack. Nothing like that, Ash. Who knows, though? It might bring something positive to the place. That's not a bad idea. I just don't know where I could find someone. 
You're not seriously considering his suggestion, are you? Do you have a better idea? I know where. I could contact him for you if you want. You'd do that? Or we can find you a psychologist instead. Ash, that is not a very appropriate thing to say right now. No, wait, that's not what I meant. Ethnographer. I meant ethnographer. This guy's a psychologist too, of course, if you- Ashton, if you don't stop- Rebecca knows the guy I'm talking about too. She can vouch for him. Huh? What? Oh, are you talking about Professor Andrew? He used to work with my parents at the university. And can you guys keep it down? Sorry, the scaredy cat here mentioned curses. Not that I'm saying this is one, but talking to him is a better solution for me than getting a random priest to bless an old house. He'll even help you figure things out, teach you a couple things, and probably put your fears to rest since this looks to be bothering you a lot. So, what do you think? It's your call. We'll go with whatever you want. I don't know. I... I'll think about it. But if ever, I'd like to give talking to Andrew a try. Is that okay? Won't he have other things to do? He is a bit busy, but he'll make time for me. He's my go-to person when I'm stuck in something. He won't mind if I bring a friend with me this time. If you're sure. I guess that settles it then. Guys, I said keep it down. You keep insisting that we still watch it. You're not even paying attention yourselves. It ain't a big deal, Rebecca. I'm the one who broached the subject in the first place. It's still your film, Zachary. A good film, mind you. You worked hard on this. The least we could do is watch it with you. And that's what you're all doing. I really appreciate all of you making time for this. Sorry, Becca. We'll stop now. Thanks for today, everyone! No problem, Zack. I'm sorry for what happened earlier. Huh? No, not me. Isabella? Earth to Isabella? Weren't you listening? Are you coming with me? Oh, I... yeah. Just... okay, sorry. I spaced out. You always do that. See you guys some other time. Y yeah see ya! Thank you so much for spamming my inbox with the same message, Scaredy Cat. Hey, Ash. What's wrong? I just had a long day. The couple who bought the house wanted us to finish processing the papers within the week. It's a little hectic, but we'll manage. Really? You sold it? Don't sound so surprised. I told you, you don't stand a chance. The rights won't take no for an answer. You've been on the losing end from the very start. Ha! Whoever said I was interested in the house in the first place? But you said... <laughs>
You're such an ass. And just so you know, I'm not treating you to a separate celebration. Or ever. No, that's just unfair. And here I was looking something up for you. Didn't you say you wanted to talk to Andrew? Is he... is he okay with that? Totally. Besides, I need to ask him about something. I might as well do it soon. What do you say you come with me tomorrow morning? Well, there's no harm in it, I suppose. I've got a free day anyway. Great, I'll just pick you up. Don't oversleep. Don't compare me to you. I'm not the one who sleeps like a rock. <laughs> Yeah? Did you forget something? Are you... Do you think you... We... <clears throat> Never mind. Good night. Good morning, Ash! Can you even drive? Hold on, scaredy cat. Not too fast. That hurts. What was that for? Get yourself together, will you? He's not going to bite. He's very accommodating, too. I wasn't scared of him or anything. You don't look like it. Didn't sound like you were okay last night, either. What was that last one? Hey, don't just ignore me. Professor Clark. It's just Andrew now. I'm no longer your professor, Detective Inspector Frey. Have you been waiting long? Quite some time, but I come here early on weekends. Best time to get their first serving of Baraclos. <laughs> They're the only place that serves it here. I took the liberty of ordering for you two. I hope you don't mind. I thought it'd be best to talk over a decent helping of coffee. Aren't you going to introduce the lady? Ah, right, sorry. Isabella, this is Prof. Andrew. He's one of my professors back at the university. Andrew, this is Isabella Santos. Santos? Portuguese? Spanish? Brazilian? Mexican? Filipina, actually. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Ah, your name carries a lot of history, Miss Santos. Just Andrew is fine. Don't do what Ashton's doing. He doesn't listen to this old man. Ashton tells me there's something you wish to discuss that I could help with. Let's hear it then. that letter I found, but I don't know anymore. I just want to know how to escape this nightmare. Of course. We're talking about the one in Anselm Village, aren't we? How did you... <laughs> don't look so surprised. There's only one place popular enough here if we're going to talk about hauntings. I once had a colleague who wrote about it and the urban legends surrounding the place. Years worth of study, but fascinating nonetheless. It's a shame he passed away at such a young age. He would have done a much better job at explaining topics like this one compared to me. Ashton here might disagree, 
but it's an interesting topic in sociology, if you care to have an open mind. Studying the science and theory behind it is completely different from outright believing in it. You don't believe in those stories, sir? Now, now, this isn't a question of belief. All I'm saying is things like these speak a lot about a place's culture and history, and it's not just limited to ghosts. Monsters, gods, you name it. Even you, Miss Santos. What about me? How you respond to these stories. It tells a lot about you and your upbringing. In the same way it tells me why our detective inspector here finds such topics absurd. Interesting, isn't it? There's still something you're not telling. Didn't I tell you everything the other day? Yeah, but you mentioned the rights. Then you proceeded to drop the topic right after. What's with that? They don't have anything to do with this. Rights? Luke and Hana right? Yeah, they're the ones who got the place. Ah, uh, I'm not surprised. They're the kind who gets what they want when they set their eyes on it, from what I've heard. Word gets around, especially with a pretty well-known couple like them. Ashton, look here. I know you're trying to help, but the deal's almost already closed. The papers are being prepared. Once it's done, it's over. I'm just their agent. And when is that happening? When what? Is there even a purpose to this line of questioning? Your working relationship with them. When's it going to end? About a week from now? It depends on how long the papers will take, but they want us to rush it. Really? You're absolutely sure about that? Yes, really. Unless they want to buy a house again and want me and Rose to be their agent, if yes, then I don't see a problem with it. Now stop annoying me about it. Don't accept it. What? Why? It's my job. Now, now, kids, settle down. We're not going to solve anything by shouting. Sorry, Sir Andrew. And we're not going to solve anything either if you keep omitting things. Speak for yourself. I'm not the only one doing it. You'll have to forgive my former student, Miss Santos. He's always been the curious kind. Many people think he's lazy, but it's actually the opposite. <laughs> I see that hasn't changed. Oh, really? How is he back when he was your student? I'm sorry, I need to ask. He doesn't talk much about that. And there's a reason why. Please don't. <laughs> Tried to sleep on the first day of class. He didn't repeat it after what I made him do when I caught him. Students like him are the easiest to deal with, once you know what piques their interest. I'd have to say, he's one of the very few who's actually interested in the subject, though. Ah, but there was this one time when... Santos, a word of advice. If this is truly what you think it is, just keep in mind that when it comes to cases such as this, they aren't always what they seem. Where are we going? You can drop me off at the park. Guess, you have three chances. I'm serious, Ash. Where are we going? Here, take it. What's this for? My arm's getting tired. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> Saw the place open the other day when we watched Zack's movie. Thought I should give it a try. It doesn't seem like a bad place to get food from time to time. And you're giving me free ice cream because... Do I need to have a reason? Are you really going to ask me that?
I... <laughs> uh, the other day? The movie with Zack and Rebecca? Rebecca's there, yeah, I think so. Yeah, anyway, during the movie, we, uh... That is, you... That's to say, you, uh... We... <laughs> shit. Should have written down something first. Get to the point, Ashton! Right. I'm sorry. N not I'm sorry for, you know, not getting to the point. I'm sorry for the other day. I got carried away. I said things that upset you. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay? That's all? That's all you're going to say? You're not still angry, are you? You didn't have to buy me anything. A simple sorry would have been enough. Thanks, Ash, for today. No problem. Say hi to Rebecca for me. Yeah, I will. Wait, Belle. My mom used to make me carry around one of those when I was young. To ward off evil and bring you luck, she said. I don't believe in this stuff now, but if it makes you feel safe since you're a total scaredy cat, then I guess it's okay to give you one to carry around. I, uh, gotta go. Got some reports I forgot to file the other day. Yeah, see you around. Thanks for the ice cream and the charm. Don't lose it. You won't find one here again if you do. I won't. I might move like I have two left feet, but I know how to take care of my own stuff. I'm not a total klutz. <laughs> I know. In Bell, remember that one time, Devlin Court? You... At the time, when we... What I'm trying to say is that you can rely on me. If something... Anything happens. Not the exact same thing, of course, but... You get the idea. I'll keep that in mind. You're not that bad after all. Are you two done?
I I Isabella, you're up early. No, I'm not. I'm usually up at this hour. You're the one that usually sucks at getting up early. Says the person who looks like she's just fallen out of bed. Are you... Uh, anyway, was that Becca with you? You both sound like Mama and Papa when they fight. You're awfully loud. If we get another memo from the landlady, I'm asking the guard to ban you from ever entering this place. Me? Becca's the one almost shouting. Yeah, well, she lives here. You don't. You have no excuse. You're the suspicious-looking person. Thanks. Glad at least one person appreciates how I pretty up this place. Don't flatter yourself. This place would be so much better without having to see your face every few days. Bell, did something... About yesterday, Ash. The things we talked about. Do you think... Do you think we can take a look at it today? We? I never said you're coming with me. Don't worry. I didn't forget about it. You'll be the first to know if I find anything. No, I, I want to go with you. I'll be ready in a few. This won't take long. Isabella, you really don't have to. I can handle it on my own. You'll just... I won't get in the way, I promise. Besides, maybe... Maybe I can help. You know, if you... if there are... <laughs> files you want to check? You're the one who's going to get in trouble if you do that. You said it yourself. You need information. And I can help you get that. And... and it's not like it matters anymore. I just... I just don't want to stand around doing nothing today. Alright, five minutes. What? Your timing- Well, I can't wait forever. I'm a very busy guy. Four minutes and 45 seconds, Isabella. I hate you so much. I'm taking back what I said last week. You haven't changed at all. Four minutes and 30 seconds, 29, 28. <sighs> I'd hurry if I were you. Ugh, you're awful! I hope you never get a girlfriend. It's not like I'm looking for anyone else. Are you... Do you need to go to the bathroom? Yeah, no. No, I don't. I don't, okay. But we should hurry. Come on, don't forget to lock your door. Seriously, you look like you're about to fall over. Are you alright? Because if you're planning to faint right here, I won't be able to carry you. Yes, don't mind me. I, I just remembered some... stuff from last night. I need to talk to Z-Man about this. Mind if we drop by his place first? Shouldn't we call him? To let him know? It's still pretty early, but we'd probably arrive there around noon. Also, what do you mean about this? Is Zach- He was also there when I opened the letter, right? He read it too. I'm sure he's fine, but it wouldn't hurt to check on him. To make sure. 
See if... if he'll say the same things you told me yesterday. I'm not saying there's really a curse yet, but we... we have to look at this from every possible angle. And don't worry, he won't mind. He's probably just watching TV right now. Let's go. Okay, but speak up if you're not feeling well. You really look like you're choking on something. You didn't have to do this for me in the first place. You know it's not as simple as that. we went in here without asking for his permission. Chill, I'm just looking. <sighs> if you see me take anything, feel free to call the police. <laughs> do this whenever you visit another person's house because I have a lot of questions about your methods just with Zach you don't have to hang around the door you might be here for a while you can sit down to look for him? Sure, we can, but where are we going to start? I can think of a few places he might be, but Luxburn's a big city. I don't want to miss the big guy if we leave, and... At least the locked door points to the fact that it wasn't a forced exit. We can take comfort in that. Sub Z Man. Hey Zach, sorry we just barged in here. Ash was. Relax. Z Man gave me a copy of the key himself. Only after you broke the 13th one. I can't keep replacing them every time you think it'd be a good idea to break into my apartment. And stop calling me Z Man. I didn't break anything this time. Ash, just because I gave you a key doesn't mean you can just stroll in here whenever you want to. And hey, is that my... he eats all of it. You know, I was saving that for the weekend. Did you at least share some with Bella? Don't worry about it. I'm good, Zach. Really? <laughs> it's free food, you know? What was that you usually say? You don't say no to free food? <laughs> what happened? No, I'm just not hungry.
Aye? Aye, 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 aye. But if you want something, just say so. I've got a fully restocked pantry right here at your disposal. Still not a five-star level thing, but for an empty stomach, it'd do. Just say the word. Thanks, Zack. Maybe next time. Food is not really what we came here for. I... we... Ash... he's the one who... You're right. There really are some odd things going on here lately. How is everything with you lately, Zack? Hold on, Ash. Both of you. Did I just hear you say that? Is this why Isabella's here? Has something happened? Calm down. We're just here to check on things. So, did you meet Andrew about the photos? What photographs? What did Andrew say about them? It could be one, but there's no guarantee it's a supernatural thing. It doesn't always happen, so that's a dead end right there. Now that I think about it, bothering that guy for this feels pretty silly now. But with the dreams lately... That's all? Did he say anything about the damn letter at all? Did you ask him even? Yeah, that's really everything. The letter kind of slipped my mind. The photos were more important at that time. There was some stuff about the local horror stories, though. Uh, talked about the curses, and he was really fascinated with the story about a wraith asking for a sacrifice to move on. Kinda nasty if you ask me, but it does make sense if you simply go along with it. I'm not sure how this will help in the grand scheme of things. Why are you asking about this anyway? Rose's death isn't just a coincidence, Zack. May have something to do with. I may have. Wait, wait, wait! Stop right there for a sec, Bella. I thought you ain't buying this stuff, Ash. Just the other day, you said the exact same thing. I still don't, but even Rebecca, out of all people, claims there's something. Whatever this is, someone has got to look into it. Everything about this screams shady. Have you two seen the news this morning? I haven't, actually. Mama... Mama called, and... I was busy. No problem. It should be in the afternoon news as well. dead in the early hours of the morning today. The fire was contained within the room and no other tenants were harmed, according to Luxbourne police. A similar writing was found in another victim's room from last week's incident. Both were employees of Briar Realty Corporation. LBN has reached out to the
This is because of that thing, isn't it? I did this somehow. It ain't too late. We, we could still fix this. There's three of us here. Four if you count Rebecca. No. She's... she's staying away from this. I don't want to involve her in this any more than I already have. Both of you as well. I already said it. That's completely out of the question. Stop asking. Out with it if you have something to say. Having second thoughts? You can still back out if you want. We're just going to my office. Why should I? Dunno? You can get in trouble, maybe. This isn't exactly legal. I'm not an employee here. I'm not supposed to be looking for any confidential stuff. Only people like you are privy to. If you mentioned earlier that this is your plan, I might have had enough time to think about it. I already promised to help if you need access to those files. I didn't think you'd want to see them this soon and in this way. Besides, the same goes for you, right? You were taken off your case. Won't you get in trouble with your boss? Still, I can do this on my own, you know. Really? And how are you even planning to get into our office without an access card? Please explain. Well, I was going to pry open the card reader and use a gecko. You're a hopeless case. I really want to know why no one has locked you up yet. Yeah, you're helping me with this. Willingly. I don't think that'll sit well with the Philippine Embassy either. Chances are you'll probably get deported the minute they find out. At least I have a reason to be snooping about. My badge and rank can speak for me in case things go south. You? Isabella, please, now is not the time- It's too late for that, Ash. Give it a rest. Alright, okay, if that's what you want. And don't worry, I didn't mean what I said earlier. I... I won't let anything happen to you. Just get this over with, okay? Everyone should be out of the office by now.
think you kids are going? It's late. Most, uh, most offices in this building have already closed up shop for the weekend. Just come back on Monday if you have important business. I last saw that ponytail in here, uh... Santiago? <laughs> close enough! Wait, wait, don't tell me yet. I I'll, I'll get it right this time. Sanchez! You were closer the first time? Ah, uh, drat. I swear it is on the tip of my tongue. I just need a hint to remember. Alrighty, I'm sure of it this time. Santillan? Still a ways off, Seb. Isabel, we don't have all night. I know, I know. Just let me handle this. Sorry, Seb. Some other time. We're in a bit of a hurry. I just need to get a few things from my cubicle. Important work stuff, you know? Is it okay if we drop upstairs for a sec? Oh, absolutely. No, go right ahead. As long as you have your access card with you, we're good. Not sure if I'm allowed to let your boyfriend in, though. Who, me? My what? Your boyfriend. The, the guy with you, isn't he? Oh. Oh, no! No, 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 no. He's definitely not my boyfriend. That's impossible! Stop being funny, Seb. I'll go on ahead, okay? Mind your own business. <laughs> Kids these days. Ah, good to see her up and about, though. Thought for sure she'd up and disappear like the others. Excuse me? Ah, you know, stuff in the news. You mean what happened with Rose Cooper? Yeah, but even before that, we've got a couple of good blokes we never saw again. Really? Those guys could have just resigned for all you know. No, I only catch tidbits of stuff from over here. Oh, seriously, I heard the branch is getting flushed soon, but that's no excuse for anarchy. Eh, figures why boss man's been in an awful temper these past months. They managed to strike a good deal with the mansion in Anselm, right? That didn't do the trick? Didn't seem like it. The bloke shouting like no tomorrow again. Wasn't very pleased when Gurley called and asked for another leave yesterday afternoon. Gurley? Isabella? if you ask me. She found him a buyer for that mansion, after all. The least he could do is be considerate to her after a family member's passing. Wait, what? Oh, you don't know? No, what? Uh, n nothing. Uh, I shouldn't be the one you're asking, and, um, you know, things might get a bit boring here. <laughs> no one really wants to hear what a poor old guard wants to say. Well, why don't you just go after her? As long as you're not looking to create trouble for me, it won't be a problem. You aren't here for that, right? Well, no, but... I'll go and unlock that side entrance for you, then. Just don't forget to turn off the lights before you both leave, okay? Hey, wait a second. What do you mean by...
I sure am fucking gutsy, especially with what I'm doing. Yeah, not going to happen. Teb let you in? What can I say? I'm a very charming person. To a rock, maybe. <laughs> Must be a pretty cool rock, then. Ugh, get over yourself. Hey, now, I deserve some slack here. Today's supposed to be my day off, and yet here I am helping you out. Helping? By standing at the door? Well, you're not exactly letting me in. Isabella? Seriously, Ash, Seb might get in trouble for this. You might get in even bigger trouble with your boss. And you're not? We've already talked about this back at Zach's. It's out of the question. At least do it for Seb, please. He's a really nice guy. But the way things are going here, he's... Did you find something? Aside from what you told me about yesterday? N not yet. I'm not sure. I haven't started going through the files we have in the records room. Just the ones they handed to me in rows. Let me see. Wait, Ash! Isabella, I already promised you that no one's going to get in trouble after we're done here. Even Sep. I'll make sure we leave the place clean. Okay, but we can't take the original files out of this office, clear? Not even a single sheet. We'll just have to make a copy. Don't worry, that's the plan. Is this everything? Where are the documents you mentioned? Still locked up in the records room. Do you need them now? Bring them here. 
Everything that has to do with the mansion's sale. Even those who worked on it during the renovations. The cleanup. Everything. Including your mandatory sign-in sheets. No wonder the final sale happened as fast as it did. Did you know about this? No. They took it off our hands after I submitted the final documents for the sale. I didn't even know until I read this. I'm not sure if Rose did. I've only been given the key to the records room after she... A anyway, my point is, they've kept all the files from me. Rose was the one who compiled everything from our side. And even then, she was probably not aware of this. There's only so much they let us know. After that, they just told us to wait for our commission, and that the legal team would handle the rest. The rumors are true, huh? Seems so. pick this name it sounds so lame what name nothing important just focus on those papers you have ash lee Yeah, well, I was pressed for time. Seriously? Ash Lee? Were you even trying? Oh, come on. You didn't even notice I was the one who wrote it down. Of course I wouldn't. Only an idiot would use his real name. It worked, though. Admit it. It's genius. Who would have thought, huh? Madeline Williams. Something wrong? Huh? No, uh, just that I remember this girl listed here. What about her? She was with me, in the group following Cooper, when we toured the upstairs part of the mansion, I mean. Rather loud one, especially when we took a peek into the attic. Kept talking about the ghost stories the whole tour. Then, do you? Do you think she's- She was reported missing. Three days after. She still hasn't been found. It's already been a week.
She's at that age. It certainly could have been a natural death. This sea guy, he was in custody just the other day. Really? Sir John has been looking for him. He stopped reporting to work a few weeks ago. Are you sure it's the same person? Yep, this is him. Folks at the precinct said they went to his house after a noise complaint. They found him just acting all crazy. Had to take him in when he started getting violent. He kept screaming about... a woman. It was driving the guards mad, but he didn't last too long in there. A few hours in, and he just started bashing his own head against the wall, and, well, it was messy, to say the least. Oh, no. We had no idea. Is he... is he okay? HR just marked him as AWOL because none of their calls would get through. He's in the hospital right now. I heard they're putting him into a psychiatric ward as soon as he recovers. He's still a bit... unstable. Do you know about this guy? He... Rose was looking for him. Last week. We haven't heard anything from him either. Until... Until now. They never mentioned this to us. The pages with their names, addresses, and contact numbers will do. We'll start with the ones who live within the city. Uh, all of this? Only the noteworthy ones. We can't check the outside contractors. But the guys with the direct connection to BRC and the people who attended the open house should be enough. We don't have time to see how everyone's doing, especially if... if what you said is true. You know, for a house your company seems to be in a hurry to sell, they still made quite a fortune out of it. Look at this. One, two, three... <laughs> Six. Are you sure they're planning to give your entire share for this? This isn't a small amount, especially given the usual cut. And their accounting department isn't in the greatest shape either. Even if they don't, even if they don't, it's not like someone still needs it. I'm... Papa's... 
Papa's gone, Ash. When? Huh? When what? Your... your dad. I mean, when did you find out? Yesterday, around three in the afternoon there, Mama called. She told me he passed away in his sleep, and I guess, I guess I can take comfort in that, huh? But Papa wasn't in any pain when... Tell me about him. Huh? About what? Your dad. Tell me about him. Anything. Just... just talk. Say anything you want. Doesn't matter what it is. I'll listen. told me I don't have to listen to them. That I can do what I want. Every day, he'd wake up at four, Ash. Because he'd earn more that way. And every time, every single time, he'd give them to me. Whatever extra he earned, he'd hand them all. So that I'd have something to use for my paintings. And you know what? Back home, just a good tube of paint costs almost as much as what we spend for food the whole day. But he'd always set something aside. He told me he wanted to see my paintings in a museum one day. He didn't want me to leave. Said, begged. I could finish my studies first. In the end, I couldn't even... I couldn't even grant him that one request. I'm a terrible daughter, aren't I? You're not. Huh? You're not. I can't speak for your dad. I haven't even met the man. But I know you're not. The Isabella I know is a total klutz, but I've never seen anyone work as hard as she does. She's the type who wears her heart on her sleeve, though it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's always in the right place. She's intimidated by a lot of stuff, but she knows how to appreciate the smallest things in life. Frankly, you've caused us no small amount of trouble since you barge into our lives. But when I'm with you, when I'm with you, all of my worries seem trivial. And I'm pretty sure Zack and Becca think the same way. You have a nasty way of growing on people like that, and... And... You know what? We got everything we needed in here. 
I'll just wipe the security recordings and we're good to go. While I'm at it, you... You better wipe the snot off your face. And you don't look very nice when you're balding like that. So, uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll go get the security videos and put these back where you pulled them from. Man, these, these are heavy, you know? Ash, it's just paper. You don't even know where I... Oh, no, I can, I can handle this. Easy as pie. And, uh, yeah, security cams, tapes, videos, cams. Yeah, I'm off. Standard lock and key. Should be easy enough to pick. This place smells awful. Jesus, it's worse than the forensics lab on a bad day. No fuss, no muss. Get out of there. What? What are you- Out! Get out! I'll meet you in the elevator. Just- You're creeping me out, Ash! Just get yourself out of that place, now! Son of a-
Why are we in such a hurry? We... we need to get out of this place. Did you get everything? Yeah, it's all here. But really, you, you don't look too good. What's wrong, Ash? I'll be fine. Just... I was... in the security room. There's... from the monitors. There was a fucking... Oh, come on! They should just replace this whole thing! No. No, I'm quite sure I pressed for the ground floor. Anyone there? I can hear you moving from here. Show yourself. We need to go, Ash. We have to. Isn't in my fucking training manual. Ash, Ash, we need to leave. I know that sound. Ash, please get the elevator. Ashton. Damn it! Damn it! Fucking hell! Ashton, the door. We're... we're okay. We're fine. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Alive. Fuck, we should have taken the goddamn stairs. Remember your training, Frey. Ashton, I'm getting dizzy. Will you sit down? I'm not going crazy, am I? I saw that. I'm pretty sure I saw that. I didn't inhale anything weird. 
Just shit. Shit, 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 shit! Isabel, please tell me that wasn't... You're laughing. You're laughing. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I know, I'm really sorry. But this is just too precious to miss. You really lost your shit for a moment there. You're trying to get back at me, aren't you? Well, I'm not the one who kept calling someone Scaredy Cat for years. <laughs> How does it feel? I'm not scared. Really? Because it doesn't seem that way to me. <laughs> I'm not, all right? I'm just, I, I just don't know what to do right now. We're still going to do something about it, right? Not just stand around and let that thing get us. I don't want to lose anyone anymore, Ash. Fuck, I'd rather get charged for breaking and entering than mess with whatever that thing was any day. A scholarship grant, huh? If only that were true. <sighs> Becca, Ashton's being dumb again. Who sleeps like a rock now? I've checked with Zach and Rebecca. I'm just waiting to hear back from them. Well, if we're going to wait for them, don't stand around there. It's getting distracting. You're just cooking. How am I distracting? I don't know. 
something might explode again, maybe. Zach's kitchen ban for you is also in effect here, you know. Now, Shu, go. Stop hovering. You'll ruin the food. I'll be done here soon. I don't want to think what might happen next in case I miss something. Shit. They're all depending on me and... Ash! Sorry, I just spaced out for a moment. Don't mind me. Earful when he tried. So eat. You'll need it. been wondering, you know, before last night, before Mama told me the news, what if, what if Papa passes away, despite everything, that sort of thing. I know it's not good to think about, but I also knew it was getting worse. Mama won't say anything, but I've always known that one day, he'll eventually... know what I'm going to do. Before, I can easily say it's because of Papa. Now, I don't have anything. You have that scholarship from Lux U. Were you going through my personal papers while I was sleeping last night? I don't really have to. You left it sitting in the open, right there on the table. I don't even know if this will work out. Well, if it doesn't, what about that exhibit you've been planning with Zack? Do I even have to ask where you got that? Zack sucks at lying. You have no idea how easy he is to read. It was all in his face when I asked about it. And anyway, if that doesn't pan out too... You... you have us. get that. It's probably Zach or Rebecca. Do 
You said it was urgent. Did anything happen? Is it Becca? Bella? Everyone's fine. Well, Becca's not here. She went somewhere this morning and hasn't answered any of my calls yet. But Isabella's... I'm here, Zach. Morning. So, nothing's wrong? Why'd you call me here for then? You're... you're okay. You did tell me not to do anything stupid. Christ, you were right there! We have this stupid, stupid, stupid curse thing going on and you were right there! You just walked up inside a private property! Those people can easily sue you for breaking and entering, and that's the least of it. I know, Ash. But I can't just leave things as they are. I've got to do something. I know you're not very fond of the rights. But they don't deserve it if something bad happens. Hana, most of all. God damn it, Zack, I was worried. <laughs> Zack! Aw, oh, he's worried. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> that cool act ain't gonna fool me anymore. Let go. Seriously, Zach, why are you even there? Told you already. I was looking for you. Why would I even go there? Well, you mentioned a plan with Isabella here. I assume that's where you guys went, since that's where she found the letter. Sorry, I was really at a dead end. You could have called me. I did. I didn't receive any and my phone was with me. You're kidding, right? I was at it the whole night. Please tell me he's joking. You were there? No, we really didn't get any. Everything was quiet last night, but Zach at BRC? Ashton and I saw... Sup, Bob Ash from Deluxe City. Baggers, watch out. Can't it's Becca. Me. I'll tell him to get here as soon as you can. Not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fun. Where? I got your message. What happened? Nothing. Yet. Where are you? Downtown. I... I had to make a quick visit to the library. Listen, Ash, about that thing Isabella has been talking about. There's something you guys need to... Please tell me you didn't... <sighs> Whatever. Save it for later. I'm at Salem Well. If you can get here as soon as possible, that'd be really great. This is... related to that. You're there? Is... Is Isabella with you? Yeah. Zack, too. Rebecca's asking for you, too. Becca? Is she okay? Hey, Becca! Hello, Rebecca. Odd morning we have, eh? Hey, you two. What, what's happening over there? Is this something I should be worried about? We'll tell you once you get here. Please hurry. I don't like the sound of that, Ash. But I'm on my way. It gives me a few minutes. I'm driving. I'm so glad you're okay. Ashton checked on you this morning, but he did? I I'm sorry. I was in a hurry. I didn't have time to drop by and let you know. It doesn't matter. What's important is you're here.
okay? You're limping. It's fine. I just had a little accident. In a library? Well, I... Uh, yeah. It kinda caught me off guard. Something's happened there, hasn't it? Let me see. Can... can we? We have to check if it's bad. Oh, that is gonna be one hell of a nasty bruise. Tell me about it. It was a library cart that hit me. You know, the old metal ones they keep near the history section. Ouch! Like I said, nasty. But she's there? She went after you. Yeah, I... I was in the archives, looking something up. Suddenly, she was just there. Belle, she was using my own students against me. What kind of terrible, terrible person does that? Oh, it makes my blood boil. You should have just ran. That woman's not something you can hit with a... with a book. <laughs> Laugh it up, Ashton. I did. Then the bloody cart came out of nowhere. And you know what? If it weren't for a damn book, I would be dead by now. I'll go get a cold compress for that arm. You guys take a seat first. Ashton and I... We... We have a lot of things to talk about. Okay. What do you want, Ash? If you have something to say, just tell me, or I'm going back upstairs. Did you really have to say it like that? Well, how do you want me to answer her? Do you want me to just let her go there and do what she wants? I know you won't be too happy if I did that. That's a low blow, Rebecca. Even for you, we all know she wasn't even planning on staying here this long. There was no need to bring it up if all you wanted to do is stop her. Did you even see how she's acting? She's not a child anymore. Even my students can do better. <sighs> Becca, she'll listen if you'll just ask her properly. I know you mean well and you do have a point, but please be a little more thoughtful next time. Go think about it for a while.
You're going to destroy an important piece of evidence if you keep doing that, Belle. Come on. If you keep staring at the table like that, you're going to bore a hole on it. I really don't want to OG a new table. He'll pick the most expensive one and leave me begging on the streets. And I really don't care. I'd even take pictures and post them online. Go away, Ash. I don't want to talk right now. Okay, I have another one. I don't want to hear it, Ashton. Go away. No, really. Listen, I know someone who talks like an owl. Will you leave me alone if I bite and ask who? Oh. <laughs> You're awful and I really hate you. Just, just leave. <laughs> Feeling better? A little. You're still lame. But you're laughing right now. Only because your humor is terrible. Right. Keep telling yourself that. I know it's funny. And you know what? If you've kept frowning like that, your face might have cracked. That would have been really messy and ugly. I... what? Ah, uh, god, crap. Crap. Damn it, that was... That was so not what I meant. I was just saying you look better when you're smiling. Thanks, Ash. Isabella, about what happened with Rebecca earlier. I should probably apologize to Becca. I know she only means well, and I said some really bad things. Don't worry, she can be pretty stubborn, but she'll listen, especially to you. You think? You're one of the few people she likes. She won't stay angry for long, I can vouch for it. I just thought... I just thought we'd find something in there. That if I go back, we'll get the answers we need. I found the letter there, so maybe, right? I can't let you do that, Belle. Ash, the people living in that place now, they were with me during the open house. They have to know. They're in as much trouble as we are. I know, but it's risky. It's dangerous. We don't know what you might find in there. Or, or if you'll even find anything. For all we know, it might be a dead end. It's, it's not worth it to put yourself in harm's way like that.
Stop that. You're going to hurt yourself if you keep doing that. Belle, can we... can we talk... alone? Tell me... What did you do with the madam? Let go! You asshole! Ah. Now, Doomkopf, you're in no position to be rude. Last time I checked, I'm not the one breaking into other people's homes. Now answer my question. What did you do with the madam? Keep that dirty mouth babbling and you're getting a knife in the kidney. I assure you, it will be more painful than this. Get, get away from him! Oh, this is just getting better and better. The Bratwurst won't be pleased with the number of bodies we have to dispose of today, you know. Tell me, how many of you are there? So I can prepare the proper number of bags. Isabella, get out of here! <laughs> Ash? You're going to lose air quickly that way, Dummkopf. Better keep it shut. Get out. Out. <laughs> Don't be stupid! I'm not leaving you here! <laughs> I'd follow his advice if I were you, little girl. What could you possibly do with a toy? Just hand it over and be on your way. It'll probably be too difficult for a little girl like you to use. Try me! Ashen Duck!
Bell, we need to go. You can't stay here. you. Bell. If Zach didn't slip up, no one would have known where you went. Bell, one person knowing is enough. Any more than that, and- You almost died! He could have suffocated you right then and there, and you could have died. I told Zach to give me four hours. That would have been enough time to- It would have been too late! And by the time anyone ever finds out, you're already fertilizer! You count too, you know. When I said, that night when I told you, I don't want to lose anyone anymore, that includes you, alive. We're still here, Ash. You have us. like that, Ashton. I'm not done scolding you. I heard all of it. Don't worry. Are you really okay? That guy hit you a little too hard on the head. Here, let me... Sorry, no. For what? Is this about what happened tonight? You can apologize later. No, well, this too, but it's not just about this. It's for, it's for a lot of things. For calling you clumsy and careless and a scatterbrain. Are you sure this isn't a concussion? You would think that, wouldn't you? Well, you don't usually apologize. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that too. For all the times I've teased you and made you cry. for all those callous words. Despite all those, there's nothing I don't love about you. In fact, those things, I love those. And everything, everything that's you. Did I... did I say something wrong? Why would you? I... I don't even have anything. What? I don't have anything. I'm not rich. I live off instant noodles almost every day. I can't do anything properly without someone helping me. Except maybe if it's drawing, but that's beside the point. I didn't even get to graduate, even if I was so close. <laughs> I'm not even sure that scholarship will get me anywhere. And... and... Ever since I came here, in the five years you've known me, I've got us into all kinds of trouble. So why would you, why would you even say that? I'm not... doesn't matter. All of that is still you, and that's enough for me.
Careful, the floorboards over there aren't very sturdy. Oh shit. Scumbag wouldn't be too happy about that. Ow, my foot. See? I told you so. You never listen to me. They renovated the whole mansion and they can't even replace one tiny part of the house. Why don't you file a complaint to BRC then? I'm sure they'd be thrilled to hear it. You know it was such a rush job. Thank you. 